So we are very happy to welcome Renato Renner at SwissMap. So he's joining the Quantum Systems Group. And Renato, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about your interests, your research, what you think about SwissMap and possibly other things. Okay, yes, thanks for the introduction. So I'm um, a quantum information theorist. That's why I um, also joined this quantum group. And, you know, quantum information theorists um, are, exist in two kinds. There are some quantum information theorists who are, in a way, users of quantum theory, and they try to exploit features of quantum mechanics in order to process information more efficiently, to do computations and to do other things like cryptography. And there's another kind of quantum information series, and that's actually the kind um, I think I am much more, who are people who do the opposite. They kind of use ideas from information theory in order to make progress in physics, and in particular then, of course, in quantum physics. So what I'm doing in my group is really to take concepts that have been developed um, in computer science and in particular in information theory, like concepts that are partially known in physics, like entropy, but also other concepts like something called mutual information. These are more advanced entropy measures in a way, and we use them to analyze problems in physics. And when I say problems in physics, this could be kind of, um, I mean, mostly in my case, there are more fundamental problems, but in principle, it could be practical things that we look at correlations, for example, in a, in a solid, in a material and study how they behave depending on temperature. Now, I'm more interested in, in more fundamental questions, for example, questions about thermalization. What are the conditions under which the system thermalizes, for example? And then there are even more let's say, fundamental questions one could consider, which um, are questions about the structure of quantum theory. Um, so what are fundamental questions in, in quantum theory? There are questions, for example, about what's the range of validity of quantum theory. We know that quantum theory has been tested extremely accurately on small scales. We have all these amazing experiments that determine the fine structure constant and so on using quantum field theory to enormous precision. But we have almost no idea of what happens on a scale where objects are, let's say, of, I mean, of the same size as, let's say, usual objects we deal with, like a, a pen or something like that. So there's no object that describes that entirely as a quantum, or there's no, um, let's say, experiment that checks whether this pen has really inherit all the quantum features that we would expect a small particle to have. For example, can it be in superposition between two positions or between having two velocities? We simply don't know. And of course, I'm not going to do such experiments. I'm a serious, but what we do is to kind of apply considerations that are essentially based in, uh, on computational concepts and, and information theoretic concepts to see whether this would even be consistent with um, other things that we know from quantum theory. And so this um, is, in a way, one can understand this type of research as a continuation of the type of research that was, for example, done by Koshen Specker. Um, actually, Specker as one of the, let's say, he would be one of the um, earliest, maybe, persons in, at ETH who really cared about such questions at the interface between quantum theory and mathematics and logic. And, um, and of Bell, of John Bell. So in a way, we, we look at these type of fundamental questions that they considered. But what is different from, um, let's say, what, what, can, what we can do, which they couldn't do, is that we now have a very powerful toolbox of instruments that have been develop, developed in this uh, field of information, C, which has been founded in, by Claude Shannon. And since its foundations, which date back to let's say, the 40s of the last century, there has been an enormous development. We now understand the concept of information extremely well, and we can use many ideas to make progress in physics. So that's a, an overview of what I'm doing. Now, um, what do I think of Swiss map? That was another question you had. First of all, I have to say I see a difference. I was in another NCCR, or I still am, in, in the NCCR QSIT, and there, um, we have, in a way, we are a diverse group of people, but still there is 
in a way a big goal which is common and very concrete which is to really develop quantum technology and maybe ultimately although this was not an explicit goal but in the background it's always to build a machine that can do computation i do, don't now call it the quantum computer because we are not that far but that's kind of a common goal now i see in swiss map i see a much more diverse thing the common thing is kind of a general methodology to think rigorously and so on and that's really another part which i didn't find um, let's say in, in, in our QC and CCR. So it kind of covers exactly the opposite side of what I'm otherwise doing. And I really appreciate to have this, uh, to have collaborations now in, um, on this side of the spectrum. And um, so far, I, I actually had, um, let's say, many contacts with people from Swissma, but many of these contacts have been more on the, on, on the side of, at ETH, of, let's say, I should always say admin, but um, of course also um, in science, for example, with Nicola Schiza, who also joined Swiss map recently. And so um, we definitely have um, uh, many common interests there, but my hope is, and, and I'm sure this will, is going to happen, that we can also um, branch out into other directions and um, either um, like uh, actually spark some interest um, in, of others in what we are doing, because I think there, there could be some profitable things for them. For example, and there are um, ideas in information here which could help analyzing um, Lyapunov coefficients, which are something that mathematicians are interested in. But of course, conversely, and that's um, the maybe much bigger aspect, I, I think I can learn a lot from what the others are doing in this network. 